All right, today I am gonna go over two different kinds of spectrometers. There's a difference between a light meter and a spectrometer. A light meter reads the, reads the amount of light coming down, and a spectrometer shows you the quality of the light. So, um, this is a Lycor 180. And when you power it on, you have to do a dark calibration. So, sensor cover is on. So, it sets the dark baseline. Okay. Takes a couple seconds. So, basically, the Lycor 250A has been like the industry standard for lab use for measuring PAR. So, this has the same PAR intensity sensor in it as that one does. The difference is this one does um, spectrum analysis. So let's just take a snapshot of the light. Right now we're powered the light with LED. So that looks like a you know around a 5,000 Kelvin or 4,000 Kelvin and we can find out by going to the basics. Yeah, the CCT, the color temperature is 4879, so 5000 Kelvin. This meter is scientific grade. Um, if you were going to be doing scientific research, this is what you would use. And this is the par intensity sensor and yeah the user interface is kind of clunky it's very scientific you know you want to measure par the light levels are really low in here 19 ppfd i'm going to take a snapshot of an led real quick so a couple inches from the fixture it's reading 2805 Micromoles, which is extremely high. It's one of the qualities of this meter that is of note is that it will actually do that. And it gives you the spectrum, which is predominantly red and blue. Hope that comes through. And <laughs> the peak wavelength is 666. That's a good sign or not. So, okay, we like that reading even though it clipped it a little bit on the red. Um, so you want to save it. The downside to this is, yes, I want to save data. Okay, there's no SD card in there, so it gave me an error. Regardless, actually it's got this wireless, nope, it's just a regular SD card, but it gave me an error anyway. It did, it came with a wireless Card so that we could uh, integrate it with a phone. The user interface is just terrible. The data is really good. Okay, so that saved the data. There we go. So it said it's saved, and this is the file name you, that you're given. You can't adjust the name of the file you have no way to associate that record with the reading you just took so it's kind of a pain if you got to take like multiple readings or looking at multiple fixtures you got to either take notes or time code it or take images to go along with it and the price tag on this one is um, I think it was around 2700 at the time it was purchased Cam, you know, comes with a really nice, super slick case, heavy duty. I mean, it's you got to protect a scientific grade piece of equipment. Uh, it's got this little stand that you can hook onto a tripod. Never used it. And it's got this USB-C connector cable, so you can pull the sensor off. Have a remote sensor it's like a six foot cable which is kind of nice um, for 
moving around, especially under lights. And uh, it's got a quick capture button here on the side, power button, SD card, old school USB, pre-micro, and then a power supply, five volt. So if you were a scientist in a lab and you wanted really high resolution, really high quality data, this is the Lycor Li-180. It's got the best intensity sensor in it, the industry standard, plus it takes lab grade data. It's really, you get it in Excel, the files are kind of clunky too. You gotta do some work to do some, some comparison. The spectrograph images that come off are pretty nice. Um, I will say that. So when you're showing your data, it looks good in your paperwork, but um, a little bit of overkill for most people. And I will show you the, the budget-friendly, user-friendly option next. All right, so this meter is the Asens Tech Essence white meter. Um, put out by Allied Scientific Pro. I think they got exclusive rights to hustle these things. Uh, you've probably seen them at trade shows if you're in the lighting racket. Um, you open up the little protector slider and then you turn it on. All right, cool thing about this meter is that it's app based. So the app is definitely better than it was a few years ago. So to pair it, you gotta get a setting, Bluetooth pairing, this long obscure number. Boom. All right, so now we're hooked up. So now, back to the home screen, we're gonna take a single measurement. Gives you all these parameters, standard. So, boom, it says measure, hit the button, all right, got our measurement. So what's cool about this? Um, scroll over, it gives you the original spectrum, a weighted PPFD spectrum, another weighted spectrum to which you can change the reference. Um, I like they have medicinal plant in here. And I'm not gonna go through all of that right now, but basically it just kind of gives you different relative points. Um, and we're reading 16, not sure how good the resolution is on this camera, but 16 micromoles, PPFD, YPFD, efficiency, far red, and then it breaks down the wavelengths. So on the light core, you have to go and interpret all this data, red to blue ratio. It's all given to you right here, which is really cool. Um, one downside, and I'll use this high power GE fixture again. is that okay. if you go over too high it says spectrum saturation that's fine okay so it's not an accurate spectrum reading but it does give you a pretty accurate PPFD I need to cross reference this with the light core to see how accurate it is but at about a thousand micromoles of LED, it saturates. So that would be the downside. Um, but the other pluses are the data interpretation. So you can go through and save it. Product name, manufacturer, plant name. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna go back. We're going to compare some records that we have. So this is one of my favorite functions. Let's go with sunshine. And let's do Fluent Spider 2P. So it gives you a really nice comparison chart. You can normalize it or got a lot of function in there. 
Then it gives you a comparison chart here, which is really cool. So you can compare red to blue ratios, red to far ratios, DLI, color rendering index, sunshine is 99, can't beat sunshine. Um, and then you can email that and it sends over all the files and the attachments for the comparison as well as any single record. You can go back and recall it really easily. You can name it, you can associate a file image with each one so for reference. And the user interface is way more approachable. Um, I want to say the MSRP on this one's around 1100. So I would say that the PAR reading is probably not as accurate. You could probably get a more accurate Apogee sensor at your hydro shop. But if you're into light quality analysis like I am, it's really handy and it does a really good job for demonstration. One thing, no matter how hard you charge it, I always get this little battery thing. I still haven't had the battery die on me when I was doing a round of data, but just kind of interesting. Um, it's got some other functions, change your reference point, I talked about that. Uh, you can set up a daily, I've never really done that. And you can do multiple shots at once. But the comparison function and the shared data function are really where it's at. So, bang for the buck, this is it, you know, probably the best thing out there. They make a higher intensity version, or at least they did, that won't do that spectrum saturation. Both really important handy tools and just a rundown because I didn't find much about the Lighting Passport on a video and the Lightcore 180 is probably one of the new industry standards in the lighting business. Uh, just not a lot of folks out there with one so hope you appreciate this info if it helps out. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Peace.